Hi, I'm Nika and I'm here with Peter today and we are going to be shooting something very cool for you guys. This is just a condensed version of this tutorial. The full version of this tutorial is over on our Inspire site. The link is in description. So in one of our other videos, which I'll put at the end for you, we did uh, direction of light versus power of light. With this now, I want to work on contrasting of light and power of light and just show you how to work the light with contrast. And then we're going to finish off doing a really cool headshot. But I'm just going to start off teaching you about how to use light to contra put contrast in and take contrast off. So I'm just going to line myself up with Mika just so I've got, and if I just take a picture now, that's going to show you the contrast that we've got through her face. Now, sometimes I find it easier to see the contrast in black and white. So enable black and white. You'll see that the contrast is falling off halfway through her arm, halfway through her face. So if I get Mika to take one step away from me, the light will have turned down a little bit, but not a heap. So I'm just going to leave the same power and take a shot. And what you'll see is you'll see that the light has come around much further around her face. I'm just going to change my f-stop maybe to 5.6 and I'm going to get, make you take another step away. And you'll see this is now wrapping even further around Mika. So the further I move Mika that way with the light, at the full behind the light she gets, the more even she gets, the less contrast she gets. And we're gonna now bring her back to center. Cool. And now we're going to bring her two steps. And you'll see as she comes this side of the light, you'll see the contrast is increasing. So the fall off is much quicker. So if I get her to come another step and another one again, and you'll see now how contrasty we've got this. You'll see how quick it falls off and it gives us this beautiful little silhouette. But what I want to do now is I'm going to take it back to a black and uh, to a color picture. So I'm going to get you right back into the center again. Now I want to show you where we're going to start and work it right through to understanding what we just did to make this a prettier picture. So in this, this is quite strong, powerful, we're not overcooking anywhere. Can you just sneak that way tiniest bit? Oh, too much, half as, half as much, here, yeah, let's try there. I'm just turning the power up and down with Mika. Cool, so what I can do, let's get this power up. I just want to get her arm just, that's perfect. So now if you can slip out a tiniest bit. So I'm just slow, finally tuning the light power by moving Mika, all right. So we, there's a arc here around the light where the power is. So while Mika's here, the power is at its highest, but as Mika starts coming back, we can move her closer and closer into the light to turn the power up there. So come into the light a little bit. That's it, perfect. With us bringing her in, she's not overcooked, and you'll see that now we're starting to get this nice light come off around her face. Now, if I come in and work a little bit with this light, cool. see how pretty we've now made this. So I can start fine tuning this picture. We're not touching the power of light at all. As Mika gets steps backwards and step in a touch. That's it, perfect. Cool. You'll see that we've got this really, really nice sort of rembrandt -y light coming off this. So I'm going to turn the power up a little bit and step you out a tiny bit and step you back a tiny bit. That's it, perfect. So um, what I'm doing, I'm working with now, using that, softening her down by getting her behind the light and moving her closer. So I'm gonna turn that light up even more. And this is also building off what I spoke about in a previous, a previous video on direction and power of light. So the direction of the light is the direction the light's traveling from the light to Mika. Oh, that's giving me a really pretty light. I wanna bring the background up a tiny bit. Let's get you to come back to there. Mm -hmm. Right, and I'm gonna move this light about that same amount. That now should keep Mika at the same power, but now it should have given some more light on the background. I've now got some detail on the background. I just want to try and finish this shot off a little bit. 
So I'm gonna use the inverse square rule. How it pretty much works is if Meek was here, the light's gonna fall off by double, by four times, by eight times. So that every time we go back that much, it's gonna fall back more. But if I move this light more forward to Mika, it's gonna soften the light down on Mika, as you saw before, but it's also gonna let the light fall off over a longer period. So I should be able to get Mika at a similar exposure. See that? So. Mika's the same exposure, but look, I've turned the wall up on the background and I've softened the light on Mika at the same time. This is something I really, really push, is until you can use one light amazingly, you should never buy a second light. So at the moment I'm liking lighting Mika and the background at the same time. Now, let's see if I can take it to another level. And now it's time to fine tune. So one of the fine tunes I can do is let's see by throwing in a V flat and make sure she's in focus from even that distance away at a softened off her beautifully. This has flattened it out a little bit, but I might want to put a little bit more contrast back into it. So just by me moving the camera to a different access to the light, this should Give me a, a different fall, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. Look at the difference, just me moving around to there. I'm actually really liking that. I never stop playing. I'm gonna try one more thing. So I like doing things like yin and yang. So we've got light coming on Mika from up here down to there, and I want to try a bounce from exactly the opposite angle. Yeah, I'm really liking that. That's actually got it to exactly where I want it. Now this is where I have a little bit of a problem because I'm still struggling to get my look in Capture One. Um, if I want to go into black and white, I don't get red, green or blue channels. I get a red slider, which is not giving me the same effect as red, green and blue. All right, so I want it to feel, all right? Get away from the, I don't want the posy or the hands. I, do, I really want the eyes. That's, I want to try pictures of your beautiful eyes. That's really pretty. Cool, I like that, cool. That's really pretty. No, that is posy crap. I've never seen you walk down the streets like that. Cool. So what are you channeling? Like cute. Cute. Oh yeah, your feet are a bit cute. Just turn the toes in again. See how it just... That more cute. <laughs> it just works instant, doesn't it? Cool, 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 that's really pretty. Nice. Nice, that's really pretty, cool. Have a flick, see if you see a hero shot. Any of them are killer? I like that one, but it's not like amazing. Can you make it amazing? So Mika's had a quick look. So yeah, she's decided that the cute wasn't working as much, I think. Cool, nice. Maybe I'll make the hair more messy. Yeah, I think it's a bit too pretzy. I'll let you do a couple, then you're gonna to have to let me do your hairdressing no. and you watch the difference, all right? <laughs> so on your, cool. Cool, that's really pretty. That's better. Cool, cool. Cool, so I know there's one in there that Mika sorta of likes. Uh -uh. Throw your head over. Okay. You're gonna trust me now, all right? You're you gonna throw- everything. Huh? You know you used to be a makeup artist, guys? Yes, I used to be a makeup artist. Throw it back, don't touch, don't touch, uh-uh. Just do not touch it. I know she's dying to touch it. That's so pretty. It's just soft it down with your pose. That's really nice. Yeah, no, no, drop it, leave your arm down. Square your head up a little bit. No, that way more. That's it, that's it, beautiful. That's really beautiful. Come have a look at this and tell me if this isn't. Amazing hair. That's pretty. I like that. See the difference? Yeah. You try and make your, your hair too neat. I know I do. That's it's that messy hair. See see how beautiful all of those, whereas yeah. see how that's just too neat? And see how it's held volume out? Because as soon as you touch it. <laughs> you were right. So let's get back and let's see. So once you throw it over, really get air, get a lot of air into it, get it all teased up, and you just throw it back and don't touch at all. That's it, don't touch. Uh, 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 can't help yourself, can you? Just, can you, just a little wiggle. 
That's it, cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's awesome. That's, I love that. Cool. Who says you can't do grunge? That's cool. That's cool? That's, I've never seen myself kind of like that. It looks cool. That's really cool. I love this picture. Hi, thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned a thing or two. Here are some more videos with me and Peter. We hope you can learn something more.